Today we're taking a look at our Hasselblad V to Sony E-mount shift adapter. This is a lens adapter that's designed to adapt a Hasselblad V medium format lens to a Sony E-mount camera with full shift functionality. Here is the front of the adapter. This is where we mount the Hasselblad V lens. Here's the rear. This is where we mount a Sony E-mount camera. And then down here we have a tripod foot. This is an Arca Swiss compatible tripod foot. So you can mount it directly on an Arca Swiss tripod, uh, but it also has a quarter 20 mounting thread. So you can mount it on any other tripod as well. And then if you wanna remove it, uh, it's got a little hex key screw there. You can remove it if you don't need it. This is an all metal lens adapter made of very durable metal. Uh, it has a nice professional finish to it. So it'll fit right in with your professional Sony E-mount gear. As you can see on the front here, the interior of the adapter is painted a matte black, and that is to remove reflections, uh, remove reflected light bouncing around inside the adapter. So you won't get any flares or reflections with this adapter. And then you can see on the top here, this is a shift button. We actually press this button down and we can shift left or right. And this adapter has a total of 20 millimeters of shift. So that means you can shift 10 millimeters to the right or 10 millimeters to the left. And then if we wanna place the shift in a different part of our scene, we've got this little gold button here. This is a 360 degree rotation button. We just press this down and we can rotate the shift wherever we want it in our shot. So you don't just shift left and right, you can shift up and down, you can shift horizontally. You can pretty much put the shift wherever you want it with this adapter. Now, how exactly do lens adapters work? How is this adapter supposed to allow me to use a Hasselblad V medium format lens on a Sony E-mount camera? And the answer is actually pretty simple. It's all down to focal flange distance. As you can see with the Sony E-mount camera, this is a mirrorless camera. So there's no mirror in it like an SLR camera has. And so you can see where the lens mounts and where the sensor is, that's not a lot of space. It's a very slim amount of space. So you'd say this camera has a short focal flange distance. The Hasselblad V lens, however, has a much larger focal flange distance because when you'd mount this medium format lens on your medium format Hasselblad V camera, uh, you had to account for all of that space where the mirror would go. The mirror would go up and down. And that's why we're able to adapt this medium format lens to our mirrorless camera. We've got the focal flange distance to do it. And in this case, we're able to not just put an adapter in between, but an adapter with shift functionality. Now this adapter allows us to turn any medium format Hasi V lens into a shift lens. But how exactly does that work? Well, basically, medium format lenses like this Hasi V have a much larger image circle than the sensor in a full frame Sony E camera. And because we have a much larger image circle with this adapted medium format lens, we're able to use the shift function in this adapter to move the full frame sensor of the Sony E camera around inside the lens's image circle. We can shift left, we can shift right, uh, we can also rotate the adapter and shift up and down. Because this Hasi V lens has such a large image circle, we can shift around with this adapter and do all sorts of shift effects. Now this adapter is compatible with all Hasselblad V mount lenses. So if you've got a Hasselblad V lens, you can adapt it to this adapter and mount it on your Sony E mount camera. This adapter is also a fully manual adapter. As you can see, there are no electronic communication pins on the front or the back which means this adapter is designed to work with fully manual Hasselblad V lenses. So you won't have electronic aperture control or autofocus. You will have to manually focus your Hasi V lens and manually adjust the aperture. So we recommend using this adapter in full manual mode on your Sony E camera or with supported program modes. Now, before we adapt this Hasselblad V lens to our adapter, there are a couple things we have to check. Uh, Hasselblad V lenses were designed to communicate with Hasselblad V cameras. And as you can see, currently the shutter inside the lens is closed. So if we want to adapt this lens and use it on our mirrorless camera, we need to open that shutter. And the way to do that is to adjust this little piece right here. Now we can use a Hasselblad tool, or if you don't have one of those, you can use a simple flathead screwdriver. You're simply going to place it in here and you're going to rotate it 
Just be sure not to hurt the sensor. And if we rotate it all the way, we should have locked open the shutter. As you can see, shutter is now open. So now we can adapt this lens to the camera and we can actually have the sensor see through it and we can use the shutter inside our digital camera rather than the shutter in this lens. Now, the other thing we have to do is turn on the depth of field preview on this lens and keep it on. Uh, so when we adjust the aperture, it's actually adjusting. Currently, no matter what I do, as I turn the aperture ring, the lens is staying wide open. This lens was designed to keep the leaf shutter wide open inside the lens until you took a shot and then it would close it down to whatever aperture you had it set to. But when we adapt this lens, we're gonna wanna set the aperture in real time. And the way we do that is we use this lever right here. This is the depth of field preview lever. And we're just going to engage it by sliding it this way and keeping it locked in place. As you can see now, I can adjust my aperture and it is opening and closing. Because I have the depth of field preview lever engaged, I can set the aperture to whatever I want and it's setting it right there. And that allows me to shoot with my mirrorless camera with this lens adapted to it and have the correct aperture. Now, if you have any questions or comments about either of these two things you have to do with this lens before you adapt it, comment below. I know it's a bit confusing. I would love to help you out. Just comment below and I will answer your questions. Okay, now that we have our Haas CV lens set up, it's time to mount it on the adapter. Mounting a lens on an adapter is just like mounting a lens on a camera. You're gonna find the mounting dot on the lens right here. You're gonna line it up with the mounting dot on the adapter, and then you're just gonna press the lens into the adapter and then rotate it to lock it into place. There we go, now we've got our Haas CV lens adapted to this shift adapter. And if you need to remove the lens, it's very simple. Just locate this little silver button on the side of the adapter, press it down, hold it down, and then rotate the lens to remove it from the adapter. Now, whenever you're adapting a lens to an adapter, it's always good to know how much play is gonna be between the lens and adapter. And I can show you that right now. I'm gonna rotate the Haas CV lens and the adapter. As you can see, there's very little play, hardly any at all. It's locked on the adapter very tightly. So that's a really good fit. Now let's mount the lens and adapter onto our Sony e camera. And it's just like mounting a regular lens. You're gonna find the mounting dot on the adapter, line it up with the mounting dot on the camera, press the adapter into the camera, and then rotate it to lock it to the camera. There we go. Now we've got this medium format Hasselblad V lens adapted to our Sony e full frame camera. And we have shift control, which is pretty cool. Now it's also good to know how much plays between the adapter and lens. So let's check that right now. Again, it's very minimal, hardly any at all. Yeah, this adapter and lens is locked very tightly onto the Sony e camera. Now there's just one more step to do before we can use this adapted lens on this camera. And that is setting the Sony e camera to use adapted manual lenses. And I'll show you how to do that. We're gonna go into the menu system. We're gonna go to the gear logo. And we're gonna to go to, let's see, number four. We're gonna go down to release without lens and we're gonna enable that. Now our Sony e-mount camera will be able to shoot photos and videos with the adapted manual medium format lens. Okay, now we're at the fun part, how to use the shift functionality in this adapter. Well, as I showed you in the beginning, shifting is very simple. You're just gonna press the silver shift button down and you can shift to the right and to the left, that's 10 millimeters to the right, 10 millimeters to the left for a total of 20 millimeters of shift. And not only can we shift left and right, we can also shift up and down by using the 360 degree rotation button. It's this little gold button right here. We just press that down and we can rotate the lens wherever we want it. Let's rotate it 90 degrees. Now we can shift up and down rather than left and right. And we can actually place the shift wherever we want it. Let's say we want a diagonal shift. We just rotate a couple degrees that way. Now we can shift up and down on a diagonal line. And if we wanna use the adapter just as like a standard adapter and the lens is a standard lens, we don't want any shift functionality. We're just going to center the lens in the very middle of the adapter and it'll work just like a normal adapted lens with no shift. 
This adapter basically turns any adapted Hasselblad V lens into a shift lens. And what exactly can you do with the shift lens? Well, the first big thing you can do is correct perspective distortion. Let's say you're pointing this lens up at a tall building and the lines of the building are converging with each other as they go up. You're getting perspective distortion from your perspective. So you got the lens pointed up at the building to correct the distortion. You're just gonna press this silver button and you're gonna shift up. You don't have to shift up all the way. You can shift up slightly depending on how much correction you need. But as you can see, as we're shifting up, we're correcting those lines, making them straighter, making for a more pleasing architecture photo. So we can shift up or down in portrait orientation to correct perspective distortion, but we can also shift up when we have the camera in landscape orientation. We're just gonna press this gold button right here, hold it down. We can rotate 90 degrees, and now we can shift up or down in landscape orientation. So we're able to correct perspective distortion in both of the camera's orientations. Another really cool thing you can do with our shift adapters is shoot stitched panoramas. Basically how you do this is you set up your shot, lock down your camera on a tripod. In this case, we're going to use our tripod mount on this adapter to lock it into place. So the lens is gonna stay exactly in the same spot. Make sure we have everything composed, focused, then what we're going to do is we're going to shift all the way one way, take a shot, and then shift all the way the other way and take a second shot. Basically, what we're doing is we're leaving the lens stable and we're moving the sensor of the camera right and left, and we're capturing two parts of the image circle of this Hasselblad V lens. And then once we have these two photos captured, we're gonna stitch them together in Photoshop or any other stitching software. And that will leave us with a true panoramic, almost medium format image. And this is a really fun way to shoot stitched panoramas with non-panoramic cameras and lenses. It's almost like turning the full frame sensor in your Sony e camera into a panoramic size sensor. Now, shift photography is a very complicated art, and I've just scratched the surface in this video. If you want to learn more about shift photography, there are tons of great videos on YouTube made by professionals who've done it for years and can explain all the nuances of it. But you can click right here to watch a video where we get into a little bit more detail of our entire line of shift adapters. Just click right here to check that video out now. Our Hasselblad V2 Sony E shift adapter is compatible with all Sony E mount lenses, just one note, if you're using a Sony E camera that has an APS-C sensor rather than a full frame sensor, when you're shooting a shift panorama, you're gonna to wanna to shoot three photos instead of two. You're gonna shoot one to the right, then shoot one centered, and then finally shoot one on the left. And basically it's gonna be a much longer pano, much more cropped in and longer, uh, but you will get full coverage if you shoot three shots. Don't shoot just two if you have an APS sensor because you won't get full coverage. Okay, that was an in-depth look at our Hasselblad V to Sony E shift adapter. If you have any questions about this adapter, comment below, I'd love to help you out. And click the links in the description below to learn more about this adapter and maybe buy one for yourself. And if you don't have this specific lens camera combo, but you're interested in shift adapters, good news, we carry a whole line of shift adapters for various lenses and cameras, and click the link in the description below to learn more about those. Also, click right here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos just like this one. I'm Sean with photodeox.com, and thanks for watching.